this video, I'd like to use Owl 2.6D to explain how to recognize correct Lewis dot structures and paired and unpaired electrons in Lewis dot structures. I'm going to click on this unit here. First, they give you an information page. And I'm going to use this table as a reference in solving our problems. Let's understand what is in this table. They give you a handful of elements. And it appears they give you, for each element, the outer electron, the outer shell electron configuration. And what's up here is sort of a general outer shell electron configuration. And here are Lewis dot structures. So hydrogen, lithium, and sodium apparently have the same Lewis dot structure with one unpaired electron. Beryllium magnesium have the same Lewis dot structure, and they show a pair of electrons. Boron and aluminum have one pair, uh, two electrons that are paired and one unpaired. Carbon has two unpaired electrons and two electrons that are paired, and so on and so forth. Let's understand why these uh, Lewis dot structures exist for, for these particular elements. It has to do with their, the number of electrons in the outermost shell. As you can see, the outermost shell for sodium is 3s1. So there's one electron sodium, one electron for lithium, 2s1, one electron for hydrogen. Um, let's go over to nitrogen and phosphorus. The total number of electrons in the outer shell for nitrogen are five. There's two in the 2s and three in the 2p. For phosphorus, there's two in the 3s and three in the 3p. I'd like to relate this now to a periodic table. If you go to this periodic table I include in Blackboard and you click on orbitals, you get some neat information. The cool thing is they give you electron configuration, the complete electron configuration for each element. As you can see, main group 1, main group 2, going over here, main group 3, main group 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And so let's pick any element in any of the main groups and figure out how many electrons are in the outermost shell. Well, sodium is, is 1 and potassium is 1. And I'm looking at Oops, the electron configuration which is over here. I'll do it again. Let's see, sodium is 3s1, potassium is 4s1. Let's go over to geranium. That's a little bit too complicated. Let's go over to silicon. Um, silicon, look at the total in the third energy level 3s2, uh, 3p2. So that would be five to uh, four total, excuse me, because it is in group four. Chlorine. Total in chlorine in the outer shell is 7, and in chlorine is in group 7, and that works for all the elements in group 7. If you scroll down, you can see that. Bromine, we're just counting the 4, so there's 2 and 4s2 and 5 and 4p5, so that's a total of 7. The same thing with iodine and antimony, or uh, astatine, excuse me. 